Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Slice and Dice. We played Generate on the last run, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, let's try Loop Mode and Raid Mode are two that I want to check out because people recommend them. I'm going to try Raid Mode. Ten heroes, double monsters, no items, only level ups. We'll play on Hard, because Hard is a, a nice, solid base difficulty level, I think. So we, <laughs> we have... Thief, Hoarder, Wallop, Healer, Initiate, Thief, Hoarder, Defender, Gardener, Cultist. And we can... What happens if we add one enemy? Does it add two enemies or does it only add one enemy? At the start of the first turn, shield two to all enemies. Highest pain, add carrier. Let's add one carrier to the fight, which actually adds two. Okay, I, I don't like that. We're gonna... Come back here. Uh, give me a re-roll of the curses. Summon a knoll every third turn. Would it summon one or two? Hmm. Before fights one through four, choose a tier one curse. Let's do that. Tier one curses are not that bad. Burst can only be cast once per turn. We have access to so many other spells, I think that's totally fine. The Norse says, name us. This is supposed to be easier than baseline says Bob. It should be easier because we have so many more dice. Look at this, we have infinity dice. Yes, yes, yes. I guess the other reason why this is probably easier than the base mode is that because the enemies won't necessarily all target the same player unit, you're gonna have a lot fewer deaths due to someone taking like four hits at once, right? That's my get my guess there. Guess we'll uh we can gather as well and get more mana out of X's, which is a nice thing to have. But I guess we'll just uh stun everyone. Ashen Ran says, I will lurk and try to sleep. Have a good night, Ashen Ran. I hope you sleep well, Ashen Ran. Are you asleep yet? Huh? How you doing? Okay, I guess we'll uh, probably smack you for one. Smack it. Smack it. Smack it. I don't have any other attacks, but you're dead anyways. Sleep badly and have trouble sleeping every day. I sometimes have a difficult time sleeping as well, so that's understandable. Rip, sorry to hear. Hope you sleep better. That's a lot of bees. No, not the bees, no! One damage, engage, cooldown. I think Flick is a great spell. Archers and snipers get plus two pips. Doubles the pip of all monsters hitting for nine. Minus two max mana stored. That's an easy one. Ashen Rand says, usually I put up Darkest Dungeon Eruptions. I... like Darkest Dungeon. I should probably play more of it at some point. Good, good. Good. So Flick is a kill, because it does two damage. Um, so hit for... Okay, kill a bee. Kill a bee. You know, kill uh, kill a rat. Kill a bee. I guess guard, guard. That'll kill a rat. Heal and shield one single cast cleave. Uh, whatever. That's a lot of buzz, 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 buzz. You know what I could do is put on faster enemy turn. They roll their die faster, their dice. 
They die dice. I'm just like, click, 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 click. A lot of clicking. There we go. Click, 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 click. There's all of our mana. Kill a bee. 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 Guess kill the rat. And now they flee, because I'm too powerful. You can't handle my strongest run. I'll take a warden over the wall. You give me a random. Caldera, sure. Two damage to all damaged enemies. Cannot roll more than four dice at a time, or hero-sized enemies replace the left side with six damage. That's not that bad. Rolling four dice is kind of annoying because we have 10, but let's go for it anyways. It'll be funny. We can re-roll the four worst dice. So keep, 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 keep. Good. Good, good. Good. Okay. I think you're gonna die, my friend. The mana is is worthless, I'm realizing. I can keep the brigand alive. Dabble lives. Thief lives. Caldera lives. Two brambles? Oh yeah, we are gonna have double bosses, huh? Shield one, cleanse, cleave, single cast, or trapper from dabbler. I think the vulnerability would go hard. Monsters get plus three HP for each X, Y, and Z. Add pain for exactly three pips. I'll take X, Y, Z. Dude, I miss not having items. <laughs> We're gonna have to rely on the squad and the squad alone. Keep, 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 keep. Reroll these. Keep, keep. Reroll this. Reroll this. Okay. Vulnerability. Smack. 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 And then smack. Him. And then we'll smack the other bramble. Smack him. Smack him. Actually, we should... Scald will kill the brambles. We should smack. Smack. Actually, we should... Flick. Smack. Smack. Burst. Scald. Enter. We only have one tree left. I like being able to kill enemies in one hit, basically. Just done. Let's just kill him. <laughs> it's one rat in one tree. How hard could it take? How hard could it be? Guardian, shields and cleave, or vampire, heal one to all allies. Do we even need to heal one to all allies? I mean, we're not really using splint. Buckle, whatever. Sure, give me a vampire. Two snakes, two goblins, two snakes. Good, 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 good. We just want damage rolls, basically. Okay. So, click. This is going to be an interesting turn. Smack. 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 Scald. Scald. <laughs> pretty good turn one. Uh, Scrapper seems pretty good, especially with the fact that we can get uh, big bloodlust plays. Kind of like that. I like not having to worry about items, I will say. You just, you just play your hand. 
Really? You're hitting everyone? You suck. Like, you just, you'd play whatever your units are. Who has a cleave? Does anyone have a cleave? I don't think anyone has a cleave, unfortunately. But we'll take this. Might as well take that. Um, Reroll these two. That's good. That's probably fine, but can we do bloodlust? Okay, you rolled X. I want to see if I can kill the Cyclops. I can. It takes a lot of effort. The illusions all live. Maybe we actually go for them first. People are dying, but not by too much. We'll do smack. 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 Let the jester go, maybe? I hate to lose him, but I think stopping us from being weakened and whatnot is pro- Ah, you know what? Let's kill the Cyclops. I gotta spend everything on it, but yeah, sure. Let's kill him. Killing one Cyclops, leaving five illusions, six illusions, whatever. They all only have one HP anyways. Problem is this guy hitting everyone for three. Well, aren't you just the biggest piece of garbage? Good, good. Kinda need the mana. Uh, need mana from you. Vampire, can't really roll that much better. Should have brought the buckles dice back. No, I, I'm a fool. Thank God. Well, who's hitting the jester? You? Alright, lots of annoying AoEs to worry about, I'm realizing. Might make the Wiz a bit problematic, because he does have a uh, an attack that hits everyone. Keep it, dump it, keep it. Reroll. Bring Buckle out, because we got to get some damage from him. Ah, eh, whatever. Stuff. No one even died. And the bard can cantrip damage, can he shield all, and the armorer can also smith. I think I like the bard for the ability to shield all. Although, granted, we're never going to be able to buff it with items, it's just going to be a shield one, but it is still worth holding on to. Um, can we? Kill the quartz. Yes. Can we kill another quartz? Yeah. Four damage. This and then this. Acceptable. You're like cantrip spamming with so many chances 
at Cantrip Reroll is broken here, says the Nor. Except that we have double enemies. And that's gonna make it difficult because it's not like we can target one specific enemy. AoE is gonna be our biggest issue. It's gonna be really hard to avoid taking a lot of damage when there's things like the uh, the ogre smacking everyone. That's gonna make it hard. Smack. Yes, yeah, smack. 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 Not bad. A couple of slimelets. The militia, we're just gonna have to uh, maybe just shield up for that. I'm trying to think like, wow, bad roll. I'm trying to think like, what types of rolls we want. What types of units we want. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Get out of here! Get out of here! No one likes you! Oh, hold on. Got him. Gladiator Pilgrim. Two sarcophaguses. We can get items! Okay, okay. Hold up, hold up. Death protection seems good. Reusing abilities seems good. Stunning seems great. Gladiator's good damage. Brigand can hit hard. Gladiator's good damage. I think you gotta go Pilgrim, though. And then hope we can work down the sarcophagi, because I want their items. Good? Ludlust seems pretty good here. Um, I like Pilgrim. Although if we roll reuse, we can reuse the kill shot, but I think I still like this. Bard is good value because it blocks damage on everyone. Yeah, I think we just, uh, we just reroll. We got an X. Rip me, I guess. Okay, Scald is good. Infuse, one damage poison, single cast. Poison you. Flick you. Kill, uh... Kill this knoll. Nice shot. Stun... This knoll. Smack you. We get more damage from our burst. I mean, I think we're going to be able to kill the sarcophaguses. Bones are annoying, but like, what are we going to do? We're going to have to kill them. That's that's all. Okay, four people are dying. Uh, Good, 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 good. Great. Good. Actually, these are really good rolls. Um... And you, you two could roll better? Yeah. Everything else is fine. Good? And that's fine. So... Smack. 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 We're gonna get so much value out of Scald here. Flick. Smack. Scald. Scald. There's literally one unit left. I 
I mean, actually, I think what we do is we just bring back Bloodlust. Kill the enemy spawning more bones. We can tank, you know, the one damage. I think the enemies are gonna flee. I'd rather not, because I'm gonna kill them. No, they're not gonna flee. He is dead though. We're gonna get two items. We're gonna get two items. I can't believe it. Siphon, add pain and plus one pip to all mana gain sides. And cocoon, era and minus one pip to all sides. Okay, those are very interesting. I don't think they're particularly good, but we have them now. Thief can become a gambler. I'll just take a brute. Damage and block. And now we have two items. Pain and plus one pip to all mana gain. Put it on the jester, maybe? Names? I don't... I don't have ten names, honestly, to give people. We could try. Era and minus one pip to all sides. Era and minus one pip. <laughs> could put it on the pilgrim. So it's like... Okay, I could put this on Caldera or Jester. I'm thinking, thinking Caldera. And then Era and minus one, I don't think is particularly good. Like minus one? Like who the heck are we gonna put this on? Honestly. <laughs> e I S P O S A B L E, that's ten. Error on the hard for it shield. Huh? I mean, I could put it on the bard, but the problem is it on turn one, the bard does nothing. On turn two, he's normal. On turn three, he would get better than he would be normally, but that takes too long. It takes too long. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go. That's a lot of damage. Good. Fine. Good. Fine. Good. Fine. Good, good, good. One shield to everyone. How are we gonna kill the zombies? I can't kill them all in one turn. I just gotta start smacking them. Brute can stun like a golem. We just reroll these two. Reroll this one. All right. Well, fine. Buffs the damage a little bit. I guess we could always uh, shield again. Let's see what we have. Infuse hemlock skull. Two damage to all damaged enemies. You know what? That kills a zombie. What are you attacking? You're attacking the scrapper, you're attacking the pilgrim. Don't hit the pilgrim. And then we can use his die again to kill the other zombie! He's done it. Why are you dying? Oh, you're getting hit by two enemies. That explains it. Now you're not. That actually kills a golem in two turns. Flick, then smack, then smack, then poison, and scald. Okay. Took a minute. Except for not doing anything on turn one, but then they'd be nerfed. They, they, the bard wouldn't do anything on turn one, and on turn two, this turn, he would be normal. But that's still too slow.
I don't want him to be that slow of a unit, you know? I'm just gonna just let him do his thing, I guess. I mean, you're dead. That I can't kill you is only a technicality. Dabbler Enchanter. Swap each side with its opposite this turn. Oh, that would be so taxing to figure out if you want to swap, but I guess technically we could manipulate our die, but also Dabbler is just better sides, I guess. Gauge is nice. Ah, I guess you go, you go Enchanter. Fine. You can put it on her. I guess. Because maybe on a later turn you want the block and the mana and the heal. I want the vampire when you name names. Okay. If you want a name, say name. I'll give you a name after this damn fight. You sons of guns. You kings of New England! We don't need, we don't need this. So, okay, so. <laughs> this could be a stun. This is an X. This is the same. This is an X. This is the same. This is three mana. This is an X. This is bloodlust. <laughs> This is a heal. We'd have to like, we have to manually pay attention to every single face. <laughs> I don't want to. I think I just want to reroll and just keep what we hate, what we get. Like good, fine. Reroll these, fine. Okay, acceptable. Now, um. Lord, uh, kill you. Uh, flick, and then smack. Gives us something to do with this guy. And then smack, and then smack. Kill. Scald. Okay, I mean, I got a lot of, a lot of kills there. You play Enchanter by not caring about the spell while you rolled and you cast it. First thing you see, your option to an undo. I don't like the Enchanter, honestly. I think the Enchanter is not a very good character, but I think that's just, that's incorrect. I think she's actually strong if you use her correctly. I just don't know, don't know how to use her correctly. Because technically, you know, self-heal plus shield is actually pretty decent. I just want damage? Okay, well, we didn't get it. Like, boom. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Hold on. Smack. Smack. North says restart, give me the meddler. Rogue with cantrip or ninja with copycat. I like copycat. I like copycat there. Oh my god, name. Oh, freaking hell. All right, Jesus. <laughs> Sure. Je okay, I, I, this is an easy one. Uh. Uh.
like, do I even know enough people to give names? <laughs> All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna scroll up. Uh, hey, Ashen Rand, I hope you're sleeping well. Uh, would you like to be a bard? All right, uh, Trapper, you can be Bob. Well, let's keep scrolling up a little bit. Oh my god. Caldera? You know what? No, no. Ninja? Connie the ninja. Hey, Connie, are you sleeping well? <laughs> Pilgrim? Oh, definitely. Gazebo. Okay, scroll up. Caldera? Be Chrissy. There you go. Everyone's got a freaking name. Tree Jam says you can use my name if you promise not to kill me. I've already <laughs> scrolled up. Sorry. <laughs> Copycat is basically cat tri cantrip plus. I like Copycat. There you go. Everyone gets a dang name, and by everyone I mean ten random people. Zwip zwip zwip. I do like zwip 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 when you start undoing. All right, Spiker hurts. Careful. Stun is good. Man is good. Engage is actually pretty good for the ninja, I think. Can smack some enemies. Good. Good. We're gonna take a lot of damage from these dang spikers, though. Um, this is fine. Reroll these. Pardon? We have two cantrip rerolls. Okay. Maybe we can go cantrip build? We might be able to go cantrip build, actually. Okay. So, smack. Smack. Okay. You're dead. Um, stun you, and you still die. I mean, if it's gotta happen, right? Look, if someone's gotta die. If someone has to die. I, there might be a better turn in there, but I like killing a, a spiker and a fanatic. I hate the spiker attack, though, hitting everybody for two. Good, 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 good. Fine, fine. Acceptable. And actually, I kind of like this. Do this. We can add vulnerability. Hold up. What about this? This. Spiker's dead. Fanatic's dead. Fanatic's stunned. He's dead. I like it. I'm sure there were some flip shenanigans you could have done. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to do it. Dude, I like Agent. Agent's good. Agent might even be what we want with the... Uh, Era, because these quad uses are gonna get stronger every turn, but I don't know. The rotten's gonna lower our health by two. Oh, that's gonna suck. Is there any way we can buff his attack? I think not. Crap. Well, let's try it. We're gonna summon an imp. That's not too bad. You don't summon two. So quad use is a really nice ability. I wish we could buff it so it had more damage. Group growth, the keyword growth activates for all allies. Oh, that's so good. Group decay, not so much. If we can roll group growth, everyone would get stronger. That's amazing. 
keep it. You're getting hit by two attacks. Keep it shield for everyone. Keep it mana. Keep it mana. Keep it engage. Probably unnecessary. Um, you'll roll better in a second. We got group freaking growth. Holy heck, that seems good. Will you just die in three turns? I think you go down to one HP. I don't think you actually, like, literally die. But... Activate... The keyword growth activates for all allies on this side. Oh! It doesn't growth everyone, it just makes them grow if they already had grow as a keyword. <laughs> I was thinking it would buff everyone by plus one. That's not how that works. That's not how that works at all. I can growth you, that's it. All right, I, I thought that would have been better. Still. I can't reroll anymore. It's only for the side that has growth, but the other characters have to already have growth. It's not top side, it's, because I'm sure we have someone else with the top side. If not, then maybe I'm mistaking this. But I, I believe it's, it doesn't say, maybe that is how it works. Maybe it's all top sides. I don't, it doesn't matter. We rolled poorly anyways, let's get out of here. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so maybe it is top side. In which case, hold on. Okay, no, it does work. It, you, are, you are correct. So, group growth, I had it wrong twice. How it actually works is everyone's top side grows. So the brute has three damage on the top. Now the brute has four damage on the top. So it, it does buff everyone. No one else rolled the top side. Okay, okay. So, I think what we do is we smack twice. That way we get double group growth. That seems okay. Start there. We're gonna flick. Buff everyone. Uh, gotta figure out who's gonna get the shield buff. Probably you. We're gonna smack a bone. And then we can just straight up kill a bone. And then smack you. And then kill a bone. Kills almost all the bones. And then Scald. Kills more bones. In fact, what about this first? Pretty good. But I like this one. Okay. There's gonna be one imp, two rottens, we're gonna lose two HP, I think. I wasn't paying attention. Mother of Zerg, welcome! How are you doing today? Good to see you. Yeah, okay, so. Four mana. Reuse. Three mana. Inflict pain. That's pretty good. What's the other keyword? Inflict, inflict death. That's really fun. Let's see if we can roll that. I will take this. I will take this and this. Reroll these. Thank you. I will re-roll Vampire now. Quad use. Rip. Only one top side, huh? God good. Good good. Good god. Glad to hear you're doing good god. That's a lot of X's. At least you do get four mana, but you will die in the process. So we will probably 
not do that and get you killed. Could double quad use, that's eight damage. Use flick, else burst. Trying to look it and see what we got. Mac. 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 Why not just kill the imp? Then we can scald, scald, scald. First flick. Else. Else. Everyone loses one more HP. We're gonna kill this rotten. But I wanna roll better. <laughs> I wanna roll the, the top sides on some of these. Treble. Other keywords times two to times three. It's worthless! I like uh, cantrip growth twice. Really? What do we have here? Shifter, shifter enduring. Because he's dead. Well, that was fun. We we now understand group growth. One damage to all enemies, rampage, pain, dancer. That seems pretty good. Got to admit, we lose copycat, but we get some cantrips. Keeper, five shield, repel. Give me the dancer. Who was the dancer? Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> Connie. I believe it was. Because they were the ninja. Alright, that's a lot of damage. Two bandits, two alphas, two war chiefs, two bandits. War chiefs are buffing everyone. Yes, yes, yes. Horde. Plus one pip for each unequipped item. Engage. Times two versus targets at full health. Okay, okay, okay. Good, I guess. I feel like people are gonna die on this turn, on this fight, but uh, oh well. Like, do you go for the cantrip? Or do you just not die? I don't know, not die? Okay, we got a reroll. Engage, bloodlust. I like them both. You know what? Screw it. Reroll this. I mean, nine damage. One damage. No, it, it's got to be lethal first. Okay. Well, start there. Get you down to one HP. Reuse it. Do one damage to all enemies. Do one damage to all enemies. Hold on. Don't think I can get another kill with it. I bet you we can engineer another kill with it, though. Man, that's so good. It almost kills everything. Hold on. We can engage with something else, but the two damage to everyone is pretty good, especially with the bloodlust. It gets the party started. What if you engage with like four damage, four mana? And then. Okay. Now this does eight. 
which is an overkill on everyone except for the alpha. And then we can do four. smack. What this? Deal two damage to all enemies. Okay. Reuse. And we're back in the same spot. They all have, like, an even amount of HP, which makes this a little hard. I'm willing to bet we can make this work. Hold on, hold on. I do like opening with this. We just have limited options for doing, like, one damage. Hold on. And kill that bandit. <laughs> what about flipping? You know, I didn't think about that. Same. X. Stun. Flipping actually doesn't really do that much, does it? I can make you quad use! Which fixes everything! This is fine. This is fine. Get some mana. Hit anything, it doesn't matter. You flip. Oh, but then you can't use this! Cause I don't have the mana. You know what we need to do? Hold on. We need to attack. Reuse. Flip, then we quad use. So we have to hit one, two, three, Four, then we can flip again. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hit you. Good. 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 Oh, wait, 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 no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Oh, it's... It's too fiddly. It's too fiddly, unfortunately. I think we're just going to accept that it's still a pretty good turn. It actually still does a very good job of killing things. I think the dancer will die, but it's still a pretty good, good get. Kill you two. Actually, she'll live, which is nice. All right. That's as much as we can get it, I think. I think he lost it. He's losing it. That's a, pr a pretty good rampage. If only we had an item that would make it a little bit stronger, right? Brew. Brew. All right. Profit gassed. I do like heal three rescue. This is a. This would be prime for one of those like level one items that's like add vitality to left side. Gassed though. Kill an enemy with one HP plus three mana cooldown. Five mana death I die. Hell yeah, right? I think you go profit though. I like the HP gain. Aaron plus one pips to all sides. We don't need to heal on turn one. I actually like it on her. 
Every turn we can get more healing out of it. Okay. One damage inflict pain, single use. You also have ranged and Quinn. Times five if this has the same pips as the four previous dice used this turn, okay? Something tells me we're hitting the Hydras a lot. But admittedly, the Ogres are also really freaking annoying. Wait a minute. One, two, three. We can make this a four. We can actually do Quinn right now. It'll be... Come on, undo. One. One, two, three, four. And then it almost one shots a Hydra. I think we're better off just killing the ogre. And then kill another Hydra. And keep two people alive. So keep this, 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 and this. I like this and this. Reroll these. In fact, keep this. Reroll these two. Okay. I mean, it's not that good here, unfortunately. That's also not that good here, but it's fine. Smack. One, two, three, four. Kill an ogre. Smack. Nope. Smack. This other Hydra. Smack. Smack. And then, what does the most damage that we have here? We're not going to use Quinn again. I should just, like mana up or HP up and then maybe just HP up again or maybe just use the plus one shield on everyone that's good I'm scared of Abe having a death die face on my character Monka S says the Nor oh don't worry who was the prophet oh god <laughs> I forgot <laughs> What is this? Resonate. Copy the effect of the previous dice this turn, retaining this side's pips and resonate. We can do bloodlust. God, I'm so dumb. <laughs> I always forget. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Named a tree jam. I might just because I forgot the dang name. Ooh, Wander is pretty good. 13 damage, Blaze 6 is also pretty good. But, uh. Don't forget to rename it. Who? Okay. Hold on. Guys, we'll go north, draft. I mean, we'll go north. Who was it? I'm so sorry, I forgot. Was it Draft? Do you, no, you still have a name. Ah, crap, all right. Look, you're a new character, you're a new, a new life. A new day. What happened to my other item? All oh, right, you have plus one in pain. I mean, that's been working pretty well, actually. I'm sure it wasn't me, says Architraz. Yeah, yeah, I hope it wasn't. There are 10 enemies. Gungeon-style character wheel. Rescue two, heal. But the heal doesn't rescue anyone on this turn because no one has HP to heal. So we'll take anything else we can get. That's fine. You're uh, easy to reroll. What do you have? 
Petrify. Self-petrify, actually. <laughs> and then decay, that's terrible. I like quad use, though. Um, reroll this. Keep it, keep it. Reroll this. That's fine. Okay. Again, we don't really need this. Although, maybe we can actually use it to keep someone alive. Hmm. Because if we can, if we can actually give a little bit of shield to you, then we can actually start using this to keep people alive. Because, oh no, you're taking damage. Whoops. Oh no, you're taking damage. Oh, because you lost the shield though. Crap. It works there, at least. We gotta kill these dang units. If we kill the knoll, then we can get it to work. Work down the chomp. Keep you alive. Hold on, we need it. We need this, actually. You're alive? Clonk. You're alive? No, actually, that first. You're alive? Smack. You're alive? Probably uh, toss in a scald at some point. You're alive? Unfortunately, you're not under attack, which means I actually have to block to save your life, which I'd rather not do, because that's going to take a lot of effort. Yeah, please don't die on me. Okay. Um. How many quad uses do I have a have out of this thing? The heck? Just keeps going. You know what we could do? We could also spend the mana on just a soothe. When did I spend this man? I gotta, I gotta back up a little bit. That keeps you going. Kill a knoll. Good, good. We can just give everyone regen, which I like the idea of, because it's. 10 people, right? That's a lot of regen. <laughs> and then... You can keep some, uh, you can't take any more damage, so... Give everyone regen. Sure. It's not the best turn, but it weakens annoying units. The gnolls aren't killing anyone. We've got regen. Literally keeping the, the X. Yeah, I do have um, heavy dice. I can't roll more than four. So we do have to take that into consideration. Okay. Good. Good, 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 good. What do you have? Self-heal. And patient. Times three if I was, or times two if I was not used last turn. Okay, we also have useless, good, reroll. Reroll. Okay. We're gonna... It gets confusing. <laughs> I 
I guess focus on who's dying. You're dying. Mm. Now you're not. You're dying. Now you're not. Now you're dying again. Hold up. Could you could you stop dying, please? Heal one to all allies. And then stun you. Nobody's dying. Not on my watch. People are coming mighty close though. You have a dice. All right. That means I can kill someone. Kill, uh, kill you. Travis says I could take two names. <laughs> All right. Good, 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 good. Unfortunately, quad use doesn't do any damage. Which is a unfortunate circumstance to be in, but that's fine. What does this do? Cruel. Times two versus targets on half or less HP. Rampage. Oh, that would have been nice to roll. Instead, we'll just, uh, Smack and smack, and I guess we'll smack again. I guess we'll smack and smack. And who's got the least HP? Probably you. And you're doing damage. Please don't. That doesn't do anything. And good. We have so much HP that they fled. Oh God! Two assaults. Nine damage. Inflict death. Four damage to the top and bottom, weaken. The top and bottom are gonna die. Prince, we can probably enable this most of the time. Is Unite, 15 damage for some pips. And the vampire can turn into a shaman with heal to cleanse cleave. We have a lot of mana. Getting rid of the debuffs is nice, but I think we need the Prince. His damage is pretty good. God damn, who, who are you again? I, <laughs> all right. My Prince Architress. <laughs> I'm, I apologize so much for always forgetting the names. I just don't pay attention like I should. At least you're only inflicting death on one person. I think that Rampage could be good. I think that's good. Copycat shield is fine, but we want to reroll this for the better side. Take it, take it, take it. Take it. Inflict pain is pretty good against Basalt because it'll just take nine. Good, good, good. I think this is actually a fine turn. We don't have any X's, so we actually can't use Unite, but whatever. So, smack. 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 Shield and mana gain. Or, shield and bloodlust. Then hit you for hit everyone for two. Get a kill. Can't get any more kills, unfortunately. Need more damage. Good, good. Good, 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 good. I'm gonna reroll these. Keep it. If I keep this, we get Unite, but I'd rather just roll better. I don't know what I'm looking for. I guess, you know, three damage is three damage. Okay. 
Also, times two of the previous dice used this turn was higher, which we can absolutely enable. Okay. Two damage kills you, which is not really what I'm looking for. But that's fine. I say that because I don't want you... I want you to die to cleave, but I guess we can cleave someone else. That's two damage. That's three damage. That's two damage. Five damage. Excellent. Excellent! A lot of value out of that AoE. And then just, uh, smack. So you're gonna inflict death, is it? Inflict death on our Wanderer. He's just not gonna attack next turn. If he doesn't attack, he won't die. Okay, you're gonna summon another Slate, and you're going to inflict death on someone else. What do you have? Paxson. Times three if the conditions of pair, X or chain is met. <laughs> what? Times three if the condition of pair, or X or chain is met. I guess we can do pair. That's pretty easy. No one told me there would be programming. We can kill Basalt super easily, and we can use the death die, and it won't actually kill the Wanderer, so I like that. It's just, boom, he's dead. I, I actually kind of just like that as a starting move, honestly. Yes, take it. I have three rolls remaining, what the hell? I mean, it doesn't look like a great turn, but we just killed a boss. No one told me there would be programming. Abe, do you not see the art style of the whole shebang? Says disposable. All right, you are correct. <laughs> the game does look garbage. Exert activates for all allies. No. But if we can kill the boss, it doesn't matter. So you know what? You're not wrong, okay? I guess we'll, uh, well, I want another reroll if at all possible. I guess we'll just take that. Look, not the best turn, but should be fine. You're gonna inflict death again. You're gonna exert on all sides. Oh, God, no. Oh, that is so bad. <laughs> Heavens, no! I would never do that. Never do that. What a terrible move. Um, Scald. Okay, smack. Scald. Buff. Buff. Fuck. Just... When there's only one Basalt, this is a lot easier. Take it. First, times two if no dice have been used this turn. We're gonna cantrip something. Critical, 50% chance for plus one. Rechecks each turn. That's just four mana. That's good damage. You're already dead. Plunk. I love the potential for infinite cantrips, if we can actually roll it. Oh, and we chipped him! I completely forgot that that mechanic even existed. Alright, big damage on the barbari Barbarian, or Artificer, with blades. Two damage to all enemies. I love this for this combo with Rampage. It's also all enemies. 
I think we'll go Artificer. You know why I keep forgetting who's leveling up? Normally, the game is supposed to say X person leveled up after you level someone up. It's not showing up for some reason. So I, I just, I've lost track. Like if we can do two damage to all enemies and then you do Skull, that's another two damage to all enemies. Wiz have a ton of HP. They suck. Okay, I want to reroll you. I want to reroll you. Keep, 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 keep. Keep. Good. Focus. Times two versus the target of the previous dice used this turn. Good. Reroll this, reroll this, reroll this, reroll this. Two damage charged. So we'll do five, if not more. I just want mana. We didn't get it. Rip. Um, but we can hit everyone and then scald at least. Can also just kill a fanatic in one punch. Uh, so this. No one's got bloodlust, unfortunately, but can scald him. Can also unite to kill one as well. Let's think about that. Can do both. Can do both. Start with. Kill you. Times two versus the previous target used. So, killing you wouldn't be that bad. Okay, okay, okay. Five damage. Actually, there you go. Do it like this. Get the rampage off. We can still unite. Who's taking the most damage? Probably Profit. Kill you. We still have one die remaining. Use it there. That's not too bad. Killed like four units. Now the Wiz did heal the fanatics, which is annoying, but. Not the end of the world. Like it, like it, like it, like it. What do you have? Minus era, minus one pip for each turn, minus flesh, minus one pip for each HP I have. There's a lot of random <laughs> rolls you can get with the uh, that shifting ability. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I feel like it's actually kind of garbage. Reroll this. Eh, plus 10 heal is not that bad. For knives at everyone. Then bloodlust. Does good work. It does six damage. Kill a fanatic. This does six damage. Then you do four damage to one. Damage the other. It's just whizzes. <laughs> it's just whizzing. You know what? Stun one of them. Shield 2 cantrip copycat. I mean, pretty sure we can kill them both pretty easily on this turn. I just need to roll better. 
Good, good. Dump this, dump this. Getting a lot of uh, cantrips and cantrip rerolls, which I like. You know what? We're good. <laughs> Don't need to go any further. Okay, fight 18. There's only a couple of people left to level up. Vampire beca can become Witch. Chrysia, the Caldera, can become Kronos. Kronos is really good. Kronos is really good. It's another cantrip reroll as well. But also, being able to reuse dice is fantastic. Add pain and plus one pip to all mana sides. Could do that. Or we could not. You have error on all sides, right? It's pain and plus one pip to mana sides. We're going to be re-rolling you frequently, looking for those abilities. But maybe rolling three mana is not that bad. Okay. Wisp, wisp, demon, demon, zombie, zombie, demon, demon, wisp, wisp. I hate it. It's a lot of damage to everyone, thanks to those demons. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Eight damage to everyone. Thanks to those demons. Okay. Literally everyone is dying. Keep, keep, keep. What do you have? Horde and growth. Look. Can't afford to make enemies at this point. Keep it, keep it. Dump. Uh, crap. Who had the cantrips? You need mana. Like, I need to get your mana gain out. You're fine, actually. I think that pain is acceptable. Rerolling you would be nice. You have a cantrip as well. I should reroll you. Okay, do we want three mana? I think that's fine. Probably reroll you then. Okay. Do have Rampage, which is good, especially because <laughs> wrong move. Oh, we don't we don't have the the uh, AOE ability anymore, but I do have two of those. Yes? Yes. Growth pain. Mana gain. So we can do mana gain. And then smack. Actually, you probably smack a demon. <laughs> okay. I mean that Solves a lot of problems, doesn't it? Or we could just kill a zombie. I think he'd smack a demon, though. And then hit a wisp. Kill them all. One damage, weaken, cleave. What if we... One damage we can cleave. And then... Give everyone regen. Not too bad. They're gonna do a little bit of damage, but not much. We're gonna have regen on everyone, because everyone's taking damage. 
killed five enemies. Four of them were wisps, but still kill them. You inflict pain, you inflict pain. Good, 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 good. I'm very happy with this turn already. Good, good. And now we get into the infinite re-rolling of, uh, <laughs> of just re-rolling for no reason. Smack. And then that, and then hit you twice. Hit everyone, hit you once, hit everyone. Hit you once. The rampage is so nice because it hits literally everybody. Four trolls, huh? <laughs> I hate you. Heal 10 cleanse or paladin or big blocks. I think we can upgrade the vampire. One damage to all heroes and monsters poison. That sucks. Maybe we don't care about the doctor. Give me a random level up. Poet. Didn't even know it. Clink. Shield one to all allies boost. That's pretty good. Now, who were <laughs> you? Um. Catraz still has a name, so it's draft. Yeah, you got a poet. You know what? He's a poet and I didn't even know it. There's only one more level up and we're gonna get it next. It's gonna be the, uh, the vampire. So hold up. Shield two. Shield two charged. Shield two cantrip plus mana cantrip. Shield one to all allies and boost all allies. Seems pretty good to use with a quad use. What else do you have? Reborn, times two if I died. Rev diff, inverted pip delta. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take these. I don't want inverted pip delta. That seems pretty good. Okay. Shielding two to all allies seems pretty good as well. Clink, shield one boost all allies. Do this as soon as do that as soon as possible. Shield three to all allies. And then we start smacking. I think we leave the spikers. I think we'd much prefer to kill trolls who hit everybody. Reuse this too. Hit, 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 hit. Wow. Actually doing pretty well on this turn. For taking basically no damage and essentially killing two enemies, that's a pretty decent turn. We're not going to be able to use the uh, clink shield again, but, you know, we had quad use. Seems like a good time for it. What do you have? Wham! Times two versus targets with shields and sept. Times seven if this has the same pips as the six previous used dice, huh? <laughs> That's what you're gonna give me? I don't even, I don't even know how to do that. Honestly, um, that seems like a hard one to, to figure out, doesn't it? We gotta kill the trolls. We gotta kill the trolls. Like it. Cuz, here's a uh, nine damage charged. That's pretty good. I really 
really didn't roll any shield. I'm at the six damage. You're dead. Two damage. One, two. You're dead. Work on the other troll. No one needs the uh, heal. Troll's dead. Two people are taking hits, but that's fine. Two spikers remain. And then there were two. And then there's one fight after this, and then we're done. Hopefully we live. Uppercut, times two versus targets with the most HP of all. We can make that work. We can make that work. Actually really like this turn as well. Heal, big shield. Times two versus targets with the most HP, they're tied. So it should work on either. They're dead. Who do we have? Dragons, not the hand, but double dragons. Okay. Oh, we actually have two people to level up. I guess we're not leveling up to full. Wraith is interesting. Can trip dodge. Kill an ally, heal five. Ooh. Leader has uh, Smith, duplicate, reuse. I like that. Lead me to victory draft. Just being able to reuse a dice is a really good, but also being a oh god, it's a lot of damage. Being able to buff quad use is nice. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> good god. Okay. Um reroll this. That's fine. That's good. That sucks. I want to reroll that. I want to reroll. I want to reroll these four first. Shield to everyone is pretty decent. Let's reroll the vampire. Two damage to uh, two damage duplicate. Not so much. I want this replaced. Although we could buff it to three damage duplicate, but that's still only thirty damage. Only. Okay, that kills a Kaw. Reroll this. Dude, we're so dead. <laughs> we didn't roll any X's, we can't even use Unite. Um, like, maybe we could kill a dragon. That would go a long way to keeping people alive. Let's see. One, two. Three. That's a self heal. It's not cruel. Never mind. Two damage shy. That's disappointing. Okay. Well, if we're two damage shy, then we're going to kill some cause. Can't even kill that cause, unfortunately. Dude, we're so dead. Like no one, no one can survive this turn, except for our <laughs> Kronos and the Artificer, who's for some reason is not getting attacked. We're so dead. How do we? We also rolled no mana generation. Which sucks. That's bad. Can't use any spells, and we can't kill Kaw. It's three damage. You can't heal anyone, and you're dying, which sucks, by the way. But we can still duplicate, do some more damage. Dragon's half dead. We're losing three people. I mean, you just have to live with it, basically. If we, assuming we kill a dragon, we still have more people than they do, right? Like, we'll be better off than, than a normal dragon fight, but that's gonna be hard. 
Okay, people are hurt. We can apply regen to people, which I would like to do. Uh, hate the poison. Good. Can be used three times in a turn. Amazing, great, great. I don't know what this turn is, but I freaking love it. I'm just gonna say done re-rolling, because you hit for 13 damage. You can use this ability. Hold on, actually. You can now use this ability four times. So that's 16 damage from you. One, two, three, four. Reuse it. One, two, three, four. But we can do better because we haven't even re rolled and. need to shield and dodge. I'm like, can we kill this dragon? So that's, pretty, that's a pretty good action as well. Hold on. One, two, three, four. I think we can definitely kill this dragon. Now we're just getting poisoned. <laughs> which if we rolled mana, we could regen. Oh, no, we can't. She's dead. Damn it, Jim. We need to roll mana, though, so we can kill the archers. That's not going to keep people alive. Though. But that's good, 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 good. Um, maybe we reroll this and try to get more mana generation out of it. Good. It's a big shield. Okay, I'm gonna check this out real quick. Because if I let the dragon hit everyone for five, I can't, the problem with that is that I can't block everyone for five, can I? Like I can't put up that much block on most of these people. Like you would die. You would live. I'd have one. I, I would have Kronos. I could also just, I guess, use this for shielding. So, like, hold up. We don't need to make this buffed, I think. I think what we can do is hit everyone one two three You go first. One, two. Do it again. One, two. Shield, shield, shield. Doesn't keep you alive. That keeps you alive. We'd have four people to kill half of a dragon. That's not that good. You do a lot of damage. No. The poison kills three people because I can't keep them alive at all. So I guess we'll work on the... On the hitting everyone dragon, because it'll save other people's lives, I suppose. I could also reroll this. I don't know what I would be looking for. Such an interesting turn, you know? We can, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can do clink into four mana to also kill all the enemies. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
Stay alive, stay alive. We gotta kill the other dragon. We gotta kill that dragon, this dragon first though. Okay. I know I know I'm I'm resetting. I gotta. <laughs> we gotta live. Clink. Mana. Now we have a shield we can toss out. You're dead. You're taking you're taking five, you're taking five, you're taking five, you're taking five. They're dead. I can keep these people alive though. And in fact, I can keep you alive as well. So now only two people are dying, I think. Like, that's not a bad turn. One dragon, I have five people, it's almost dead. I suppose technically we should re-roll you to look for damage. And uh, actually, if you get the shield, you might be able to keep someone alive. So I hate to do it, but we roll this. That doesn't change anything. So I gotta redo the turn, but it's fine. Boom, boom, one, two, three, four, reuse, one, two, three, four. Okay. If we rolled the shield with the heal, we could have kept someone else alive, but this, this is fine. Five damage. It, okay, you're dead. <laughs> that happened fast. Raid mode complete, unlock the mode slash. Complete any 110 achievements to unlock modifiers. Oh good, mortal one through mortal 11. All heroes have shields, health, and pips limited to X, where X can be one. Let's freaking go. Raid hard complete, that's a fun mode. I like that. What was the other thing we unlocked? Hold on, help. Uh, ledger, most recent, M. Unlocked a mode slash. What the hell is mode slash? All modes? What am I looking at here? Is it just a, I don't have to click the button on the side? <laughs> I unlocked. I unlocked the ability to not have to click the modes button to access the modes. That... Really? All right. That's what an unlock. Huge. <laughs> Crappy modes. Demo, instant, play single random fight. Pick, pick any hero, item, or monster. Saves. All in progress games and empty. Empty? Just, uh, I understand why it's crappy. <laughs> There's no game there. Anyways, raid mode complete. That was a lot of fun. No items. I think makes it harder to create combos between your units because you, instead of having the ability to constantly swap it up for each fight or take items that give you specific benefits that you're trying to aim for, you just have to hope that the base pips that you have can carry you. We got carried at the very end there, thanks to hyper use on Agent, allowing us to reuse his attack four times for 32 damage. Without that, we would have, would have probably died. But I get the feeling that raid mode is, I, I get the feeling it's harder than the base game because of the inability to really put up enough defense against attacks like from the dragons. If the dragons are hitting you for everyone for 10 damage, do you really have the HP to survive that? Not really. I mean, that means you're taking 100 damage. That's a lot. It's hard to heal out of that. And it's hard to have enough base health to survive even a single hit. But we made it work. Lightning Bugs asks, did you beat loot mode? I have not played loot mode yet. 
It's the exact opposite. Loot after each fight. This mode is difficult. I wonder about the item quality in loot mode. Will it go from level 1 to level 18, or will it go from you get two level 1 items, two level 2 items, two level 3 items? No idea. This seems like it's going to be very hard. Even harder than, uh, you know, the normal mode. Harder than raid mode. But we'll see. We'll see next time. For now, for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for, for when I go live. Support the channel at the various links below in the video description, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of Slice and Dice.